This child presented with a cholesteatoma in an ear that had been previously operated on for atresia. The cholesteatoma can be seen extending towards the superior semicircular canal. This was the microscopic view and the endoscopic view affords a much better appreciation of the lesion. The cholesteatoma can be seen extending down towards the intact and normal stapes superstructure and the tendon of the stapes with an abnormal incus and malleus noted anteriorly. The operation begins in the usual manner by elevating a skin flap and the cholesteatoma is dissected with round knives. The incomalleolar complex can be seen anteriorly here and the scar band attaching to the stapes is divided. The cholesteatoma sac is then dissected posteriorly from the pyramid and then off the uh, facial nerve. The facial nerve stimulator is used here to identify the nerve. The sac is then dissected off the lateral semicircular canal which is abnormally positioned in this child who has an atresia atretic ear. The superior aspect of the sac is then dissected and a 30 degree scope is used to remove a second pearl that's extending into the antrum and above the superior semicircular canal. Curved suckers as well as hockey stick and angled fish dissectors are used to get around the top of the sac. Debulking the sac allows access to the superior part of the cholesteatoma. The cholesteatoma is then dissected off the tegmen or the middle cranial fossa floor and finally anteriorly off the incomalleolar complex. The anterior malleolar ligament is divided with scissors and the sac is completely removed. Here a panoramic view is seen of the masoid antrum through where the cholesterol sac was down into the middle ear. A drill was used transcanal to extend inferiorly to allow a better reconstruction and reconstruction is performed in the usual manner with tragal cartilage, perichondrum and a split skin graft that was taken from posteriorly. Here the perichondrum is being placed and then finally the skin is being placed on top of that at the anterior tympanomiatal angle.